Hi, I'm Megan Podwin. I wanted to tell you about one of my favorite teaching aids. It's called the Tour Striker. I've been using it for several years now and I've found a lot of really positive results. And I hope that you can bring it to your teaching tea as well. The reason why the Tour Striker works is that, bottom line, if you don't make good impact, you're not going to get the golf ball up in the air. So the difference of this club is that it definitely has a different look to it. Um, if you look here, I have the 56 degree and an 8 iron. So if you are able to see here that the grooves on it are located much higher in the bottom part. Uh, you can see that if you make contact there, the ball will not go up in the air. So in order to hit this club correctly, you have to have the shaft leaning forward at impact. When that shaft leans forward, it introduces the upper part of the face and therefore uh, making the golf ball go up in the air. Now, without that forward shaft lean, the golf ball would contact this lower portion of the club, which doesn't have any grooves on it in this particular case. And so they're not able to get away with that kind of contact um, unless they have a slight forward shaft lean. That forward shaft lean does not mean that the handle is going to be dragging through impact. And that's really one reason why the Tour Striker works really well, is that we have forward shaft lean without handle dragging. Another positive thing about the Tour Striker and why it works so well is that it promotes a shallow angle of attack. So um, basically, we're trying to encourage the student to hit down, yet without them smashing down on the ball. They're going to be approaching from a shallow angle of attack with forward shuffling. So those are a few reasons why I love using the Tour Striker. And now I just want to talk to you a little bit about how to use the Tour Striker. Well, I have the sand wedge and an 8 iron, so really I'd encourage them to start with the easier one to hit, which in this case would be the sand wedge. So I'm going to put the 8 iron down. And at first, you're just going to start them with half swings. Let's just say waist high from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So they're just going to start from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, just making some shorter swings. And just understanding what they need to do to make the golf ball go up in the air. If they come down with the club head first, uh, a common thing would be flipping or casting the club, then they won't be able to get the golf ball up in the air. So after a few tries, once they're successfully getting that golf ball up in the air, you'll work into a little larger swing until finally you'll get to full swings. Uh, the gratification of hitting the Tour Striker for the average student, it, it gives very instant feedback. And I find that just actually letting a student go out and, and practice with a Tour Striker without even any instruction is a, is a great way for them to practice. There's a, also an incentive program for pros, which is really nice. If you sell the product, you can uh, make a little money back. So I definitely encourage you to try the Tour Striker, uh, use it on your lesson tee, and, and let's help improve uh, impact one golf swing at a time.